Hi guys, with all my videos lately about how fantastic the FX30 is as a cinema camera, my little A7 IV started to get a bit jealous. So what did Harvey do? He went out and he got himself some new clothes. You guys saw that in the thumbnail already. I'm gonna have to move back here to get all of this in the shot. Well, that's better. I'll just lean in awkwardly for the rest of this video. This is all about small rig. Uh, small rig was kind enough to send out a cage for the A7 IV and a few accessories here so that I could trick him out and make him a video beast like the kids like to say. And the first thing I will address is overheating. I have it hooked up to a V-mount battery running right into the USB-C port. And uh, as long as the screen is open, I've had no overheating issues when I've been shooting. Generally, I've been shooting in temperatures about 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, I ran this thing for three straight hours, actually. Three straight hours, the A7 IV hooked up in this rig, no overheating, no warning light overheating. So as long as you keep the screen open and you have this thing set up, I have had no issues. If you're in very hot temperatures, it probably will overheat. And when I had the screen closed, it did overheat on me. So make sure, you know, you don't do that. Now, I know a lot of people like to trick out their cameras so they will run for a long period of time and they will be very versatile and usable in the field. And of course, small rig is the first place you will want to go to do that thing. But it's, it's a lot like Lego. For adults who like cameras, you have to find the right pieces that fit together. So what I will do is I will list in the description below, there will be affiliate links, of course, the uh, gotta get super rich after all. I will list all of the things that I have in here so that if you also want to do this with your A7 IV, then uh, you know, you'll get a nice head start. But basically in a nutshell, they sell this fantastic A7 IV cage. And I don't know when you're gonna watch this, but right now it's Black Friday week and this A7 IV cage is discounted quite a bit, so go grab that if you're watching this early. And then I just put up a V-mount plate uh, to stick in an old V-mount battery. Now this plate has many connections. You can just take DC out, you can do USB out, you can do DTAP out as well. And uh, so you can just put any V-mount battery on there. Now small rig actually sell a new V-mount battery, which they didn't have in stock at the time when I was uh, you know, building this rig out for this video. They wanted to send me one, but it was out of stock. Now that battery is actually very versatile and you can use the ports on the battery itself to power different things. It has the outlets, the different outlets like DC, USB-C and USB on the actual battery itself. So you don't have to necessarily get a powered plate like I have here, but uh, that's what I do. I have these, these old Coleman batteries, they work great. So I will just stick them on this powered plate here. It's up to you if you want a powered plate. I just run a USB-C from the plate into the camera. I like to just leave the monitor with a little Sony NPF battery because it's just less wires for me and these batteries last a long time on the Ninja 5. The handle comes with the cage. There is another handle here that comes with the A7 IV cage as well. Of course, you have your rails. Now these ones are only nine inch rails. They're carbon fiber. They're very light, very cool. And uh, I would probably recommend you get the 12 inch ones because as you can see here, I can't really close the screen. I don't have a lot of real estate. If you had a bigger lens or you wanted to put more things on there like follow focus, you want a little more room. So uh, probably get the 12 inch rails instead of the nine, unless you want a really compact setup. I just have a quick release plate that I bought down here. I will list that on top of a regular plate so, the, so that when I don't have the matte box on, I can just quickly take it on and off and I just have the cage with my A7 IV. You know what, I'm gonna take apart some of this so that you can see what I'm talking about. The matte box is definitely the real star of this thing. This is a modular matte box. It is fantastic. Besides the A7 IV cage, of course, that is essential. But after that, boy, oh boy, do I love this matte box. Okay, so now that I took off the matte box, look at this. Here is just the uh, the quick release plate is right here. So if I wanted it to be quick release, now look at this. I have my A7 IV in my cage, ready to go running and gunning with the McKinnons and the Medi Hapoyas of the world. Look at this, wow, ready to, and then if I want to put it right back on, then don't put it on backwards like I was about to. You just put it right back on there and then you snap it down and your quick release 
you're, you're back in business, back on the tripod, like the Matty Hapoyas of the world. In case that came out sarcastically, I actually love those guys. My family says that to me all the time. Everything you say sounds sarcastic. I'm like, oh, does it really? So let me show you the plate here. Right there, you see that it says it is on. You can just turn that off with the red switch here. And here's all the ports on the thing. And uh, this battery, of course, is uh, not one of the small rig batteries. So you would just attach any V-mount battery to that. And like I said, if you get one of the small rig ones that has the connections, you don't need the powered plate. You can just get a standard small rig. And these are the little nine inch rails here with the quick release base plate. And uh, if you're looking at the tripod, that is a small rig tripod that I love very much. This thing is like 130 bucks. And look at this, it's so sturdy. And you need a big sturdy tripod if you're gonna put up a big rig. The reason I got it the first time was for uh, my sliders because you didn't want it tipping over. And now that I have these big small rig rigs, small rig rigs, then uh, I, oh, I see where their name came from. Then uh, I definitely need this all of the time. I'm going to pick up another one, in fact. So now let's talk about this fancy modular mat box here. Modular, that is the key word. But look at this. Here's another key word, variable, ND. Look at that. Can you see this right here? Look at that. Eight stop ND with hard stop. So you're not going to get that cross pattern or whatever. It just, it will stop you from going too far. You get eight stops with that and that comes with it, but you don't have to use that. You can use the regular slide in filters that fits as well because it comes with a tray for those. And you can just stack those on each other because it's all attached by magnets. You just raise up these little arms here and you take this part off. And now you can just slide the variable ND out and put in a regular sheet filter, polarizer, ND, whatever you want and then they can just attach to each other and continue to stack the filters with their magnetic, magnetic, magnetic system. It is modular. It is fantastic. And I love it so much. And it does the things that a matte box is supposed to do, you know, with the sun blocking out the sun there, giving you better contrast, helping you color grade, keeping your image from being washed out or getting unwanted sun and flare or lights, whatever else in to your lens that you don't want in here. And plus, it makes you look super rad on the set. People see a matte box and they're like, oh, that guy. That is a professional right there. Plus, look at him, so handsome. And the way the matte box actually attaches to the lens, it has a 95 millimeter hole in it, but it has the rings to fit your different lenses. So it has uh, 95 to 82, and has 95 to 77, 95 to 72, 95 to 67. So you just screw that onto your lens right here. You put the matte box neatly over the filter thread, and then you just, right there, tighten it down with that little gray knob. There you go, how's she doing? Pretty easy, self-explanatory. Links down below. Thanks once again to Small Rig for solving all of my problems. You guys should move in with me. I love you so much. We'll talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, don't forget, uh, Black Friday and stuff. If you're still watching this week, all this stuff is on sale. We'll see you soon, okay.